Hey YouTubers, RC here with RC67. And I got a few cars today I'm gonna to showcase for you. Uh, I got a couple cars I've been tracking for a while and got pretty good prices on them on an eBay auction site. And then one is a car from the RLC club that I'm a member with. So the first one on the turnstile here is a 67 Camaro. This is a treasure hunt. Uh, this was a, from 2005. So this is the 10th anniversary Camaro. And uh, this car here, uh, I actually was able to get it on an eBay uh, auction site. I got a pretty good price for it, to be honest with you. I didn't pay a whole lot for it. So uh, I, I snagged it at the right time, basically. So the nice thing with the treasure hunts is there's a few ways you can tell. If you guys aren't into you know the treasure hunts or you're trying to find treasure hunts, uh, some of the ways that you can tell on the treasure hunts is that on the cars here, you'll see uh, a TH right there and that would indicate that this is a treasure hunt car it also has um, rubber tires all the way around so you have four rubber tires on there this one is a metal base this is from like i said back in 2005 this one they're still doing metal bases for a lot of the treasure hunts and they still had you know opening hoods and moving parts <clears throat> the uh it's it's a red color with black striping on it it's not really that spectra flame. There is a little bit of a speckle in it, but I wouldn't really call it like a spectra flame. I'd call it more of like a metallic red. But if you looked at the main line, the red is a little bit flatter, so it's not quite as shiny as that. And of course, the wheels are, are just the hard rubber, or sorry, the hard plastic tires there. But anyway, that is some of the ways you can tell with your treasure hunt cars is the uh, treasure hunts will have that TH on it. Uh, you know, the rubber tires, things like that. So this is the first one on the turnstile. Now there are some changes that they made over the years when chasing treasure hunts and super treasure hunts. The more recent treasure hunts have the little, like a little round circle with a flame in it. It would be located somewhere on the car. Uh, and then of course, then they would indicate that that is the treasure hunt. Um, and it does at times will have rubber tires on it as well, that the color on it is still going to be the same color as the main line, but there's also a little water marking on the package behind the car that would indicate that that's also a treasure hunt. Super treasure hunt. And this is a car I've been chasing for a while. Uh, I have actually the main line car on this. I have the, uh, NHRA hot rod version of this 32 Ford. And now I have the super treasure hunt. So this is a super treasure hunt. So there's a few ways you can tell the super treasure hunts. One is the color is a spectra flame color. And that spectra flame color should match the color on the card as well. Uh, I have seen uh, people on eBay, they will say it's a super treasure hunt and they will you know, mark it up so it looks like a treasure hunt. And then when they recard it, it's not necessarily on the same color card as what the car looks like. So just be aware of that, that the color on the card usually will match the color on the car itself. Second way is in the lower corner somewhere on the car, this one here is on this lower back portion of the door, you're gonna see a TH. And of course on the picture on the car, you should also see a little TH there in the same place that it is on the car. Third way is it will have rubber tires. So this one has four rubber tires. And then of course the final way, and I don't think you can see it too well on the video here, but behind the car here, there is, it may, there you can kind of see it there. There's a little gold circle with a flame in it. And that will indicate that that is a super treasure hunt car as well. So that would, those are your ways you can tell if you're looking for treasure hunts or super treasure hunts. Uh, the more recent, like I said, the more recent treasure hunts uh, just have like a little circle flame somewhere on the car. The color is your standard color on it, but it just has that little circle flame on it. So there have been some changes over the years between treasure hunts and super treasure hunts. Um, treasure hunts came out in 1995, and I don't believe the super started coming out until like 2005 or shortly thereafter. So it was about 10 years before the supers really started coming out. And I think, I'm, if you want to correct me on that, please do it. I think it was right around 05 or 06 is when supers started coming out. Please correct me if I am wrong though. All right, and finally, I have a Lamborghini Cantache. This is an RLC membership club car. This is not a numbered car, but it does come in a hard plastic box 
on the, the case and it says Lamborghini Cantacha LP 500S. And then of course it has the Lamborghini logo up in the corner of it. This car has quite a bit of detail. It's a Spectre Flame Blue. And again, your RLC cars and your Super Treasures are gonna have a Spectre Flame color on it. Uh, this one does have the doors that open. And I don't think you can see it too well with the lighting in here. But the doors do open on this car. There's some nice detailing here on the front with some lighting and then your little uh, Lamborghini logo right there. You got a little bit of detail on the front grill there. Again, I don't think the light's doing it justice right now. And then if you come around this way, again, you can see a little Lamborghini logo there, turnstile there. These are rubber wheels on here. Nice detailing on this car. Uh, you got your uh, fin work through here with the vents and stuff to cool the engine. And of course, then you're coming around the back here, you've got your tampoing for your lights here in the back and then a little license plate right down here in the corner. This is not a numbered car. Um, it is screwed on to the base, uh, but it'll stay on the base as it is. And I will go ahead and put that on the shelf for display. Uh, so that is what I've got there for this car here. Now, uh, there are a couple cars I want to showcase here as well that I did some custom work to. And you guys know I'm into custom die casting cars. So here we go with the die cast custom cars I did. So to kind of go along with that Lamborghini, I customized a Lamborghini Cantache 500S as well. When I got this car, and I've had this car a long, long, long time, it was in all white. The base was white. The the painting on the car was white and it had the four hard plastic tires, which are crap. So I stripped this car down and uh, the painting on this car was, the enamel was pretty aggressive painting. So it took me a while to get this body stripped down. But the way I work this one here, as you guys know, I will drill out these little mushroom heads here and then I'll pull the car apart. I will sand everything down. Uh, and I did this one, like I said, I do some wire wheeling on it to it. Uh, I'll sand everything down. I polish the car, then I'll go ahead and paint it. So I put uh, four rubber tires on this one with the chrome mag wheels. And the idea my thought was when I did this car was I was gonna go ahead and make this car the opposite of this car. So I would have a blue Cantache and a red Cantache Lamborghini. So that was my thought for this display piece. And that's kind of what I wanted to do. Obviously the doors don't open, but uh, nonetheless, I think it came out really well. This is a uh, red candy metallic that I have. I used a darker primer coat to give it a little bit deeper finish. Uh, and I thought it came out really, really well. I was very happy with the way this car turned out. So, and I really like the chrome base on the bottom versus the, when it was painted white. Thought about painting it black, but I just decided to go with the chrome base. And I think it came out pretty well. So that's the one I just finished up there. And then finally, this car here is a Nissan Sky, 2000 Nissan Skyline. And a little story behind this car, I got this car from a guy on eBay about two years ago. And I actually bought a couple of cars from him that quote unquote, he said he restored to original. And I, one of them was a Trans Am and I bought the Trans Am and there was a little problem with the Trans Am. So I messaged him about it and he said, send it back. Well, in the process there, uh, he messaged me, he's like, hey, I got a couple other cars I'm getting rid of, do you want them? And he showed me what they were, and I said, yeah, I'll go ahead and take them. And he gave me them for free. I was like, well, that's kind of cool. Thank God I didn't pay for them, because this car, when I originally got it, was in all black, and it had the General Lee sticker on the top, and then, of course, the 01 number on it, and it was in black, and it, and it had a horrible wheel set on it. So I decided, you know, it sat there in the box for a year or so, two years here, and I decided I was gonna strip this car apart and uh, repaint it and give it a new set of tires on it and really make it look nice. <clears throat> so after I stripped it all apart, you guys know, again, I drill out these musher heads, pull that apart. So when I pulled this car apart uh, and I went to put it in the stripper, the interesting thing was that after the black paint came off the top of it, there was a green paint of coat of paint on it with a decal, which was a tampo decal from what the original color of this car was. So this car never went through a stripping process to get it to bare metal to go ahead and sand it. 
And of course, the wheel set did not fit the car at all. They were, they were from a matchbox car. I could tell by the, how wide they were on the axles. So thank God I didn't pay for this car and I only had to just, you know, redo it the way I wanted to. So what I did is I stripped this car to bare metal, uh, sanded it down, polished it, and then I went and had to painted it this uh, deep metallic blue and did a little bit of detail work on it here. I don't know if you can see the little bit of the lighting here I added to it. And then of course on the front of the car, did some detail with the, uh, the lights here. And I put uh, uh, four, gold mag wheels with rubber tires on it. It gives it a much nicer stance. It's actually a lot cleaner, I think. Uh, and it actually looks similar to one of the RLC releases of their Nissan Skyline, which was released as the member car back in 2022. Um, so anyway, again, if you guys are out there looking for customs and stuff, uh, ask the individual to send you pictures of their process. I have process pictures of what my cars grew through when I do it. So what the car originally looked like, that it is stripped down, that it is going to get primered, and that it is going to get repainted. So if you guys are looking to buy custom cars, those are some things you need to ask when you deal with some of these people on eBay or OfferUp or wherever you get your cars from and ask them, hey, do you have process pictures of this car when you were going ahead and, and trying to sell it as a custom? Uh, just as a buyer beware. Thank God I didn't pay money for this car. Uh, fortunately, the Trans Am that I got from him was actually done pretty well. Uh, and it, it was restored, I think, pretty close to original from what I can tell. Uh, and I have taken it apart to look. And this one, that one was actually uh, stripped down and primed out to another color. So, uh, But if you're, if you're getting, a, getting used to doing those things, you should know. But anyway, I'm going to stop from there in my rant. And I hope you guys like this video. If you would, please like, comment, or subscribe. It really helps the channel try to grow. Uh, anyway, this is RC with RC67. I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.